peak inspiratory pressure basically it's the maximum proximal airway pressure during an inspiration cycle i would refer you to my videos uh, i think number nine and ten where i talked about resistant flow and um, compliance resistive and elastic pressure please go back and watch them to refresh your memory but this is the resistive pressure which mainly involves the airway so resistance mainly in the airways and then this the elastic pressure involved the lungs the alveoli so we call it elastic pressure to refresh your memory this equation proximal airway pressure is equal this resistive pressure is equal to flow multiplied by resistance plus the elastic pressure basically this is alveolar pressure and then we said this is equivalent to the same equation that tidal volume divided by compliance so now when you have a peak inspiratory pressure it's basically it's a sum of these forces the problem with peak inspiratory pressure if it becomes high usually we don't like it to go beyond 35 to 40 centimeter HTO because after that can have detrimental effect that I will talk about these effects later on now when you come and have a problem that this proximal airway pressure is increased then you for sure come to this equation and try to troubleshoot what's wrong simply just think what could have increased proximal air airway pressure either a flow or resistance or tidal volume or decrease compliance as simple as that if we know mathematics we would know that so when you troubleshoot things would be a lot easier okay in the problem with the flow let's decrease the flow problem of resistance let's decrease or relieve that resistance problem with tidal volume let's decrease tidal volume and sometimes you need to play with those to to decrease the p uh, the peak inspiratory pressure until you figure out exactly what the problem the problem with compliance let's figure out so what's the easiest way to find out unfortunately the ventilator cannot measure resistance it can measure the flow the tidal volume and indirectly measure the compliance so how do we do that simply let's play it smart if i make the flow zero then this equation will become zero because flow zero multiplied by resistance is zero plus tidal volume divided by compliance that will equal proximal airway pressure when the flow if flow equals zero tidal volume we know of but the compliance how do we do simply when the flow will be zero at the end of inspiration when the cycle terminates then this flow will become zero and this equation will be true so the end of inspiration the alveoli reach their maximum pressure during this inspiration inspiration during this inspiration cycle so simply we tell the ventilator okay hold off with the flow is now no air coming in we don't want you to let the air to go out hold off close the expiratory valve of the ventilator remember there is an inspiratory limb and expiratory limb we tell the ventilator let's see close this expiratory valve so the air doesn't leave back we put a hold at the end of inspiration now the pressure inside the alveoli will be equilibrated if i can say throughout this area will be equivalent and the ventilator will sense that and will give us exactly what's the alveolar pressure at the end of inspiration and before expiration simply we put a hold 
on the inspiration this amount of pressure at the end of inspiration and before expiration we call it plateau pressure we'll continue next video